£100 fine. John Shires joined the plainclothes patrol. Smoking was made illegal on South Yorkshire transport buses on November the 1st last year. Unfortunately, some passengers have been paying little attention. When we first started, or when we introduced the ban in November of last year, we said that our customers would be given a honeymoon period to adjust um, to the fact that there was now no smoking on any part of the bus. In the main, that policy has been extremely successful, except for the, the minority who still think it doesn't apply to them. We joined the patrol at the start of the evening rush hour. For 45 minutes, not a smoker in sight. Perhaps they'd rumbled the undercover inspectors, or perhaps they'd seen our camera. Then success on a single decker on City Road in Sheffield. Um, I've not noticed you smoking. Yeah. Under normal circumstances, it is an offence on these buses now to, to smoke, and it could lead to prosecution. But in this case, can you accept both? We are just cautioning you. Yeah. I think it's disgusting. We should be allowed to smoke. We sat at the back of the bus. We pay taxes on cigarettes. Bus fares have gone up. We should be allowed. <laughs> The fact that you've been caught now, is it going to change your mind about doing it in future? I'll be a bit more careful. But most miscreants and passengers have supported the crackdown. This man had just put his cigarette out in the queue. He was simply warned not to light up on the bus. That a lot of people on their own bat um, are just not smoking on the buses now. Um, and it appears that, to a certain extent, it's self-policing. And the passengers are telling passengers, oh, they come across smoking, no smoking on South Yorkshire buses now. And would you put your cigarette out? So far, Dave and Dave have had a few problems, but they're aware there could be troublemakers. They're quick to point out that they've the power to stop buses and call the police if there's any bother. No, 